In this video, we'll be going over the bottom-up approach of climbing stairs. This is part three of a four-part series. So let's convert the top-down memorization approach to a bottom-up approach. So where do we start? In the memorization approach, we have cached the current value n with the number of ways. Number of ways we can reach the last step. This means we can create an array ways to keep track of the number of ways for each value n. Now we have to go over what are the default values inside the ways array. When n is equal to 0, then we have reached the last step. We have reached the last step. Reached the last step. So the number of ways is equal to 1. When n is equal to 1, we only have one way left, which is going down the stairs one more step. We only have one more way. We will only have one way to reach the bottom level, to reach, to reach the last step. The number of ways will also be 1. Now let's go over pseudocode. So we're going to create an array. Actually, let's validate the input array first. Let's validate the input array, uh, the input value. If n is equal to 0 or equal to 1, then we can return 1. Then we're going to create an array ways to keep track of the number of ways for each value n. The indices of ways. The indices of ways represents n, and the value of ways. The value represents ways. And we're going to iterate. Actually, before that, we're going to set ways zero and ways one to one, and we're going to iterate through from two to n which we denote as i. And then set, and then we'll find the sum of the, of the ways that if we take one step or if we take two step. Find the sum, find the total, find the total number of ways we can reach the bottom step. So ways at i is equal to ways i minus one. That means taking one step and the number of ways if we take two steps. And then we're going to return ways at n. This means the total number of ways that we start at the at the top step. Let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is equal to of n, where n is the input value. We'll visit each index once inside the for loop. And our space complexity is also going to be O of n, which is the ways matrix, uh, ways array. Ways array. Now let's go do the code. So if n is equal to 0 or n is equal to 1, we're going to have one way. So return 1. And then we're going to create our array ways. It's going to be n plus 1 because we want 0 to n. So way 0 is equal to 1. Ways 1 is equal to 1. And then we iterate through. The number of ways for the current n is the number of ways we take one step plus the number of ways if we take two steps. And then return the number of ways if we start from if we start from the topmost step.
Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.